read that at the uh, Our Lady of Good Voyage Chapel yesterday, a uh, commemorative service of the Easter uprising, and commented to the audience, which is overflowing down the, the stairs outside the church, that um, the people there, sensitive to the our situation, should certainly bear in mind that this has application elsewhere, including South Africa. Amen, brothers and sisters. Our next open reader is Jay Cater. How are you doing? Here? <laughs> yeah, pretty good. All right. Hey, George Taylor was a big man then. Yeah, he was. Over the Scientology doctor. Yes, but not the regular. All right. I'm going to share some weirdness with you from one of my favorites, E.E. E. Cummings. Yeah. What if a much of a witch of a woman? Gives the truth to summer's lie, bloodies with dizzying leaves the sun, and yanks immortal stars awry. Blow king to beggar, and queen to seem, blow friend to fiend, blow space to time. When skies are hanged and oceans drowned, the single secret will still be man. What if a keen of a lean wind flays? Screaming hills with sleet and snow strangles valleys by ropes of thing and stifles forests in white ago. Blow hope to terror, blow seeing to blind, blow pity to envy and soul to mind. Whose hearts are mountains, roots are trees, yet they shall cry hello to spring. What if the dawn of a doom of a dream bites this universe in two? Peels forever out of his grave and sprinkles nowhere with me and you. Blow soon to never and never to twice. Blow life to isn't, blow death to was. All nothing's only our hugest home. The most who die, the more we live. <laughs> not me. Not me. Um, I like sunshine myself. Not, not, not me, not us. This is, the title of this poem is Futurity, Colorado, November 28, 1901, 10,894 feet above sea level. Take me to the garden of the simple life, the essences touch me with fingers of thought. I await things to come around as larger cycles strive. Saints usher us to holistic planets, take us away from here. What an exact joy to feel, to be out of it completely. It takes so many people who care to make things work well. Empty dishes sob for children, vigilant in stillness, weeping dust drops. The ghost of blood pouring through comatose veins or stirred on beams of light. Through subtle yellow spectrum, faintly sallowed glass that still admits, that still is clear. Awake. Awake. The untapped moonscapes, they say with rays, brush off the crumbling edifices, the crumbs on the cutting board. Children of its drama at the curtain call. The first small settlement, now porticos of other planets. Sweet sorcery of home, the orders of existence collect. Come to the rebirth day party, bring a gift. Or is it like manna in crowded silence, politely adhering to handmade antiquity and mantelpieces? Sculpted of Earth's allowance, commemorate Earthlings, pangs, ranges, futurity remains. <laughs> 